let's just get right into it. Good children. We honestly could have landed the role of Elle Woods in Legally Blonde the musical with that note. I don't even know what you're talking about. Well, yeah, she needed to hold the longest note on Broadway. I could do it better, I'm sure. Hey guys, and welcome back to a brand new episode of Good Children, the podcast where hosts Joe Hedges and Andrew Muscarella reflect on our 22 years, endless years, agonizing years of friendship. Growing up in the late 2000s, early 2010s. And all of the nostalgia. Trauma. And really difficult to watch videos that come along with it. It's been quite a while since we've reacted to old videos. And let's not forget, this is really part of the reason why we started the podcast it's in the, the first place. the point of the podcast. It was the point of the podcast is that we have an archival footage of about 22 years of our lives, about what, 100,000 pictures and videos? Yeah. Crazy. Crazy, you popped your pimple? Is it looking, is it bleeding? No, or? I just noticed that it was popped. Yeah, I just decided I to like my chin snap, more, my crackle, chin pop the hell out yeah, of it. Why not? Because I'm like, you know why what? Not? It's laid out. It's pop late. Pop a pimple. Pop a pimple. If you have a pimple, pop it. Yeah, and like sometimes you derive joy from popping your own pimples. And you should allow yourself joy. Always. I'll never forget when I was like 16, 17, 30 Seconds to Mars put out a video called City of Angels. It's like a documentary where they interview different people who are famous, people who lived in LA. I'm not even a 30 Seconds to Mars fan. I am a Lindsay Lohan fan. And it's just interviewing them about like their lives. And it was like the thing that fucked me up. I was like, I need to move to LA. I need to become famous. Hmm. And James Franco says in it, he's like, if this is my only life, then why am I not spending it doing exactly what i want <gasps> and that fucked me up and i still think about it so james franco fucks up a lot of people i guess whoa i don't know how we got from pimples to that <laughs> but if this is your only life why are you not spending it doing exactly what you want pop your pimple exactly do you have like a pimple kink now what the hell do you mean not a kink but like are you one of those i could watch a dr pimple popper I wouldn't seek out a Dr. Pimple Popper, so but if a Dr. Pimple Popper came up on my Insta, my, my explore page, I would, I would perhaps... I just can't get behind those people. Oh, well, you can watch me burst anything on my body if you would like. I would love to burst your bubbles. Yeah. Yeah. When you look back at these videos, what is your immediate gut feeling? Is it uh, sickness? It's a sickness. And I, I know that, like, it's kind of like marriage, right? When you're like, oh, in sickness and in health. Like, yeah. I do sometimes, like, I get both of those thoughts coming through my head when I watch these videos. I'm I like, do feel sickness and health. Yeah, I, that's exactly what it is. Because you never know. You you never just never know. know what the dynamic is going to be between you the never know what we're going to say or do how we're going to behave no if you're going to look like you are an abused puppy yeah 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 yeah, yeah. if you're going to smack me around a little bit i think that in some of these you're going to smack the shit out of me i'll say one thing i think that the narrative this whole time has been joe's the bully there is something we're going to see today i saw a little snippet that maybe might set the record straight. Well, I mean, let's not take one video and blow it out of proportion <laughs> and say that we're setting the record straight. I would say maybe for, for one of the first times in a video, you see you me be snap back and get a little sassy to you. But I've always been sassy. We know that. Yeah, but, but you were almost like, like I, I feel like, was it, do you think you were camera shy? Yeah, I think because I was. that's part of it. Like, there's a wall up that I don't remember you acting like yeah, in real life. Yeah, I definitely was camera shy. I think that like, when you grow up and like your entire life is a content, like it, it makes you camera shy. Well, I feel like it should do the opposite. Like I feel like for me, I was like, yeah, camera. I think I warm. I think I warmed up once we started doing farm pole moms. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. think that like for my entire like for the entirety of the childhood. Well, I think my whole thing has always been your whole thing. My whole 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 thing has always been. I'm gonna say something wrong. Right, and uh, I, it's I will not say, gonna be funny. It's not gonna. I'll be good say, enough. like, I was again. I, I, when I, all I didn't watch these. I did like put them into a file and export them. So I did see some moments, and I was watching something where I was like, 
it was the one that I sent you that we'll watch. Yeah. Where I am like giving you direction in real time. Like I'm telling you what we're doing while the camera's rolling and on. Like it wasn't like there was no conversation before we started that was like, Andrew, this is what we're doing. No. And I think that is like a touch of my mental disorders and dysfunctions that I was like, all right, get to work. And I'm like, I'm not saying a word to you. And I'm like, well, do it. And I'm like, okay. Like, well, I think I just assumed yeah. you could read my mind. And at that time, I couldn't. Now, now I put the camera up. Story. Camera up, and I'm like, hey, you guys. <laughs> um, okay, so should we start with the first one? I think we have to start with the first one. All right. Oh, my gosh. Okay, this one actually went viral, but we never talked about it on the podcast, and we only saw the first clip. Um, this is the audition. Well, before we even get started, can we even can we just discuss? Can we talk about what the sparked the, this? Yeah, um, can we talk about how people responded to it on the internet? Yeah, absolutely. I think that so. What sparked this? I can only assume was like Drake and Josh. Drake and Josh, right? Yeah, like a children's Cause, show. Because this was like pre. This was pre a Camp Rock, but it was very Camp Rock esque. Yeah, it's us competing to be the lead in a musical, and I presume the setup is I didn't even want to audition. But you, you made me. I made you, and then you absolutely slayed, slayed the, house the house down, down boots. boots. I cut up most of the, the audition. My audition does go on for about six minutes. I can only assume. <laughs> so I can only assume. Let's watch it, and then we could discuss further. Okay, dude, I'm sorry that I'm gonna play guitar. So you get mad. Yeah, no, that is actually important to talk about. Why the hell am I wearing a Jose Reyes jersey? Joe, I I couldn't even. Did you know who Jose Reyes was at the time? I was I went to a few Mets games. My family was a Mets family. We were well, in Queens. Come on, you're asking yourself why you were wearing a Jose Reyes jersey. You to this day, you to this day walk around in athletic apparel. I actually I'm having say a that, like, bit of an epiphany with that, where I kind of am stepping away from it. I don't know if you've noticed. Yeah, no, I have noticed. I, I haven't actually really seen like, you in a bit. I'm selling all my like jerseys. I am keeping my like gorgeous cream Yankee jacket because yeah. that's different. But I was kind of like, why am I doing this still? You were kind of like sporting. Yeah. Is exactly the word for sporting. it. You were sporting and people were like, yeah, what do you think about the game last night? And it's just like, you can avoid that com- conversation if you just like didn't really wear right. it. And like, I think at this time in culture, like well, Joe, I had no choice. What was I in? What was the, sh- was you I know in? exactly what the hell you're in, Andrew. You're an and one, aren't you? Oh yeah, of course. Or like something, something similar. You love, you love athletic. Brands. I'm like, come on, come on. That's a right across the boob. This is a tub full of Beanie Babies. Were you ever a Beanie Baby fan? I have like a few Beanie Babies, but it would be only if I like went to like a Hallmark store or something and picked it up. But I felt like they were like weren't really the thing. They were. I think we were too young for it. Yeah. I definitely, my sister was the Beanie Baby fan. Because Beanie Babies are the ones that like came with a name. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I, Webkins was our Beanie baby. I feel like I had some passed down Beanie Yes, babies. I inherited these from Amanda. Yeah, for sure. There is, like, there's something to this room for the listeners at home who aren't watching. You know the room, that the rust orange playroom that we would stay in. Mm-hmm. This was a sanctuary in many it, ways. It was a sanctuary. Hamster cage in the top left, board games in the top right, Beanie Babe was in the bottom right, and right here, Little this is the money up. shot to me, is... The Littlest Pet Shop Hotel and this bag filled to the brim yeah. with more Littlest Pet Shops. Were you playing with Littlest Pet Shops in Only your private with time? You. Absolutely not. Did Absolutely. you know anyone who had Littlest Pet Shops? Not really. I feel like you were the you were at the forefront of everything that was considered um I guess cool. I guess I it was, was a cool. femme queen. You were like a femme bottom. It's so <laughs> true. Like I'm being completely honest. Like you since the early days, like were like playing yeah i loved to play and Mm -hmm. i was just there like being like like the top that i was i guess it's weird when i talk about it yeah like it's getting creepier the mask i was like mask you know you're you're mask you're wearing and one your foot looked like that for half this video yeah and it is for to describe andrew's foot i would say one foot is placed firmly on the ground and the other foot is that's kind of crazy (laughs) insane the other foot (laughs) is giving like it is a, it's cr- a 90 degree across angle, Joe. his body at a ni- <laughs> Does it look like I broke my toe? <laughs> you, look like, you look like the Grinch. I look like it a- is like, actually, how did you do that? You're I- balancing the base of your <laughs> toe. I am kind of like, I am kind of double jointed in my feet and my fingers. Show us. Well, with my fingers, it's like I can, can slap my all the way finger. Back. No, it's more of like a like this. Ew. It takes you to slap it to do no, that? No, I don't, but I like to do that for dramatic effect. Can you do this? 
No. Lila's Pet Shops for me, we get a lot of messages and comments asking to dive into the lore of it. Yeah. I understand that you'll under I understand that you understand that you'll never understand, but still you stand. Oh, Joe. Always. I almost think it'd be worth it to like buy in bulk on eBay a bunch of Lilith's pet shops. But really quickly, the quick ranking of Lilith's pet shops. I feel like you love the frog. I was okay with the frogs. Really? The frogs were okay. I was big on the turtles. Oh, for I sure. loved the turtles. They were so fucking cute. The iguana was my favorite, mm-hmm. and I still have him somewhere in this room. I loved the birds. Well, it depends. I loved the owl. There's this bitchy ass owl that had this like pink bow in her hair, <gasps> and she just was like hideous, but she served bow. Wait, why was she hideous though? She, she was, was hideous, actually, like ugly in the face. She was ugly in the face, in the texture. Like she was not cute, but she did serve bow. Okay, so like I mean, I feel like we all need like an ugly bitch that serves. You know <laughs> what I mean? Serves bow. Yeah, exactly. And like by that, she slayed. Yeah, absolutely. She was up there, top three, hundred percent. But she did not give face. Okay. She was like the face card was declined on this owl. We can't all give face, but we can work with what we got. And if you have a bow, slap it on the top of your head and serve and bow. Serve bow. She served bow. I think that like genuinely, I mean, I we I could there was chinchillas. I remember a chinchilla. I just like have we talked about like I why did neither one of us have a chinchilla? I feel like you... <laughs> it's kind of weird that I weird. didn't have a chinchilla. It's weird you didn't have a chinchilla because I feel like you like had all... Like as a living pet, right? A, yeah, Not like a living a, chinchilla. Yeah. Like an no. al- alive chinchilla. It's yeah. kind of strange. Because I feel like a chinchilla, like for the kids that had them in school, it was kind of like... I feel like I knew one person that had a chinchilla. And it was their personality. Yeah. It was obviously like the ferret girls we know yeah. and we love. But chinchilla girls, chinchilla people... The chinchillas out there were like I don't want to call them chin chill at all like, they were they were, they like, were the farthest thing from chin, chin chill, chill. They like chill and they were chin intense yeah they were chin intense they were again everyone was talking about it and they I had, had to like look apps. up pictures I was like what the hell is a chinchilla and then I would look it up and it was like that's the cutest thing I've ever they were seen cute. they are cute and I'm so shocked at you. I'm so shocked at your mother, honestly. I, like, thank God at some point they put their foot down and said, you're not going to buy you any more pets. Yeah, well, that was when I, I gave you the, the damn hamster. Thank God. I was Lilo. thinking about that the other day. Someone Lilo. was saying, like, have you ever had a hamster? And I was like, yeah, I did have a hamster. And, like, it was crazy what went, went down. Yeah, but that's a shame. Like, hamsters are so mistreated, as we all know. But, like... It probably just it wanted a bigger cage. Like it was trying to break out of its cage. It was in a tiny little cage. Like it deserved more. Lilo deserved more. And I really hope, for Lilo's sake, that, that she, she got her happy ending and she wasn't eaten by my cat. I really hope Lilo wasn't eaten by your cat because I can't even think about the fact that like I didn't. I wasn't even able to like mourn my own. Well, it wasn't yours that. at that point. Yeah, you let her go. I you only know you love her. Can when you, you imagine what that feeling was like? For like you. I like again. Did you like care? Yeah, I did. I kind of was like, you this was my. Bo? I was serving Bo. Like, I might have been ugly in the face, but I served Bo. And, like, I really don't think that my parents, like, even allowed me the option to keep that animal because it just ran away. So they're like, let's give it to Joe because he probably will give it a loving home. I really think that, like, when I look back on it, I'm like, was that something? Were they kind of, like, saying something about me as an owner? As as the father of Lilo? Like, I just, like, I couldn't even believe I was the father Everything that went stepped wrong up. with my animals. Like I was the father that stepped up. You were up. the father that stepped up. Between Lilo that fucking bit out of the cage, my You're hermit f- crab that I put in my hand that stuck to my hand, that my sister had to rip off my hand, and my fish that went into the little treasure chest that would need to be stabbed with a fork. Like those are the three animals I had. Those are the three I had. So can you imagine me even thinking about getting a dog? No. <laughs> no, I, I actually think that the whole world would agree maybe, maybe you shouldn't get a dog ever. Maybe you shouldn't. Oh, that's like like what the hell like I have to I have to work through that I need to talk to my therapist about that are you back in therapy okay so can we watch the rest of the <laughs> yeah, video let's keep going Ooh, that was good we're all going to have the ice cream now alright take this jacket off the accent is unbelievable the accent is like unbelievable it's almost incomprehensible yeah. ice cream with you guys no no way okay no you guys then come he was in the staff they all left me here with the check. 
There is something so seriously off. <laughs> There's something seriously off. I play a character whose name we don't know. I'm going to say it's Dylan. Yeah. Okay. Odds are it was Dylan. Yeah. You're playing Jackson. Yeah. Jackson did wanted we, to be the lead in the play. Did we choose these names because we thought they were hot? For absolute sure. I remember always wanting to play like a Dylan type character. Because yeah. the name Dylan is hot and the name Jackson is hot. hot. Yeah, it's very hot. And we were hot. Yeah, we were. We right. were serving Bo. Yeah. This caught my attention. Do you remember having these? Like a fake ATM toy? Yes. I loved that shit. What were those? Like, those were a very luxurious and fun toy. Because, again, like, kids love to play adult. So, like, obviously with the ATM, like, oh, I do remember, like, it was like a piggy bank. Yeah. Wait, that's kind of really It is kind of cute. It also gave a sense of, like, privacy and, like, independence. You're yeah. like, this is my money. And you're like, get away. I have a pin. I have a pin. This is my money. And I can spend it how I want. Yeah. I'm going to go to the ATM. I remember trying to like figure out your pen. I feel like I tried to steal your money at that time too. Two as as well as what? In addition to when? I did lose a couple bucks. I'm gonna bring it up. I had a couple of bucks that have gone missing. I had about twenty six dollars that was on my desk about three or four weeks ago. If and I came back think, from being away for a week and I could have, if I'm not saying you stole it. I'm saying yeah. maybe you borrowed it. Like maybe you were like, fuck, I have to pick up my laundry. I have no cash. Let me grab this cash. No. I wouldn't for- go into, where was the, was it on your desk? Yeah. No. I would tell you if I took your cash. What do you guys think? I'm not going in your, yeah, I freak you in your room about four or five times a day. <laughs> but I'm not going in your room to take your cash. Sometimes I just want to lay on your bed. Do you know what this thing is? I actually have never done that. Yeah, I feel like it was to play music. There was those, you know those toys that existed at this time that were just like MP3 play. They were like yeah. speakers, but yeah. they were all like futuristic robot animals. Yeah. Like there was iDog, I, I iDog, do iPenguin. I specifically remember iPenguin. I loved iPenguin. You loved it. iPenguin was one of my favorite pets. Yeah, for sure. But this thing looks like one of the most fucked up shits I've ever seen in my entire life. And one. Who is and one? It's just like a basketball brand. Who's and? And, and why one. is he one? Why, why was he number one? Why was I deciding to wear all of that stuff? Like I get, I think it was like Andrew. Is that why you liked it? I think so. I think that me wearing like sports apparel as a kid, like really, like I think it tricked a lot of people. Andrew, they were like, Andrew, you're a, you're an athlete. I played about eight sports at that time. You think that people saw you in that like? that shirt that didn't fit and they said you're an athlete i think they said he's trying well for that's different he's serving that's, though he's <laughs> i'm sorry like i'm never gonna get over it like serving no. bow is big for us this yep, year yep, yep 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 i also like i think i've talked about it but i kept a pinata as a pet yeah we never talked about the the feedback that we got on our on our viral video or viral childhood video to bring it back to that video of us fighting over the the guitar i just think like what's really impressive from the feedback that we received is that people really did believe it people believed the fact that we were upset with each other and people made us both out to be the villains people made us both out to be the villains which i kind of was like i was in therapy for that one for real that was the one that was the final straw I'll never forget, which is insane, like, insane in retrospect. I remember going to therapy and talking about it for, like, a week. A week. What do you mean, Joe? I was like, I'm getting these comments on TikTok. All people who listen to this podcast, looking at this video where I'm playing pretend with Andrew, they're saying, Joe is such a bully. Which is arguably true in so many other ways, but I was like, in this? And then he said to me, do you think the reason that's triggering you is because maybe you had a lot of bad experiences with bullies as a kid and that might be the worst thing you could possibly be called? And I was like, no, that's not it. And then a few weeks later, I had to be like, you were right. Wow. Yeah, I, I, was, I was devastated. Were, I can't believe you were really internalizing I that. Internalize I internalize a lot. I internalize a lot. Yeah. Well, especially when it came to this, I like, even I saw those comments, some of the comments, and I was like, you know what? Like, these people are insane. Like, I knew we were acting. Yeah, I'm not a <laughs> pathetic, I'm not a pathetic, jealous loser, but I mean, like, maybe I am a little I bit. I think sometimes. we were acting 
but we were drawing inspiration. I mean, is that not acting? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. So, like, I do think that was probably why it felt real. Is that like there were elements of it that were real? Like, I think you probably were annoyed at me because I'm sure your audition was like 25 seconds, and I was like, okay, now it's my turn. And I probably went on for as long as yeah, I possibly sure, could. I'm sure, I'm sure. And you were probably like, well, you didn't have to go on so long. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, well, yours was short because it was bad. Bad. Like, I'm sure that was it. But yeah, people were saying how sad how, it must start with the parents here how pathetic and sad these kids fighting the people were calling us jack black notorious notorious d they were calling us notorious <laughs> d? is that the is that jack black's band tenacious d tenacious, tenacious d. d all right well you know what like for those of you that thought it was real it was absolutely an act and it goes to show you you don't know what's real on the internet you know what's real on the internet and yeah we should have been child stars well that it also goes to show we you should that have been on disney very talented very 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 talented. talented and if we Pure had amazing if we had, guitar skills just like that and just that like same that. exact tone yeah. and same same voice deepness. yeah no i because i got because that's acting it's acting i think that um if we had the presence of a responsible adult to tell us what to do mm-hmm. we would have been the next Zach and Cody. I, I actually do believe. And it's really Where interesting. Where would you like, be? I think that our parents, like, did see talent in us doing this. But we also hit a lot of this. So, like, if we were to come forward to them and say, like, here are our videos. Here's our portfolio. Drive us down to Orlando. We want to audition. We want to audition. And I think that, like, as a duo, they would have sold us in a second. I asked my parents not, not more than – no less than once a week if I could be on Disney Channel. And – I think if you're if my child asked me that so many times, I'd believe them. I'd be like, why not? I think they were against, and I could assume your parents as well were they against were. the idea of us working as children. I think that, as, I think that's in absolutely the what entertainment it had to be. industry. Because I mean, listen, we were ready and able, and, and, and we and Josh Peck was aging out. We could have you could have Josh stepped right Peck in. Was aged you out when he started. started, and I'll tell you one thing: any time I heard. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Jesus Christ! <laughs> what the hell did that I'm kidding, mean? I'm kidding. I really am. I really Josh was. Peck. I really am a Josh Peck stan, um, or was. But I mean, I still I have no ill will towards Josh Peck. Seems like there might be some. No, he'll be he'll be on the podcast soon. Um, <laughs> but I will say, anytime I did hear a "We want you for Disney Channel," I was like, "You want me?" I was. I actually. I remember the feeling like. It was like when you want something so badly, yeah. but you know that you can't have it. it like it's both excitement with and the disappointment. Me with the rice krispie treat, yeah. Um, yeah, you're like, don't even show me this thing because it's gonna upset me more. Because all I'm thinking about is the other kids that are then going to audition and getting it. But here's my next t- challenge for us: Imagine we had gotten it. Who would we be now? So say we had Zach and Cody level fame. I'd be 12. Selena Gomez. You think you'd still be with us? I think I would still be with us, but I do think that people would... Be worried. Be worried. Oh, I think I would be still acting. I think we kind of would have a similar situation to Dylan and Cole. Like, I think we would go to a college. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, absolutely. And then I think we would open a meadery in Williamsburg, for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Joe. I think please. I would be the Cole. I think I would smoke a cigarette and call her yeah. daddy and get made fun of for the rest of my entire yeah, life yeah. and called cringe. I think that you would be the Dylan. You'd okay. marry Barbara Powell then. I probably would marry a Barbara Powell. I would like want more of an illustrious career than Dylan Sprouse. Well, he. Though. I think he's just getting started. Don't I you think? You're that, right. Don't you think if you started working at eight years old, if not younger, yeah, I would want you'd want a little bit of a time to be yeah. like, I'll just start doing projects only I want to do. Yeah, like, I not, kind of agree. Yeah, I think we can. I think we could have been a Dylan and Cole. We probably would have still ended up in Williamsburg. That's exactly with a meadery. <sighs> God, oh my God, it's like what could have, what could have been, what could have been. On to the next one. Why not? This one I think is important just for like a lot of cultural touchstone that's happening within it. Mm-hmm. Hello. Have you checked the children? Okay. It's just like first of all the juke. The juke, yeah. No, right out of the gate, it's actually wild to see that phone. That's yours. Look at I it flip like that. Was the coolest kid in school, and it was so skinny. It's like a switchblade. Yeah, it really was so skinny. 
Do they have a camera in it? Yeah, the camera, obviously, at the back. I can't imagine they have the capacity. Me wearing this br- this brown Hollister sweatshirt, it's not sm- it's not so tight. No, it's like the arms are like meant for probably like, like <laughs> twenty one. Oh years. yeah, the arms are really long, but I still lo- I still crave that. Yeah, like I still search for sleeve. a long sleeve, like a really long. long like, I want to look like Ariana Grande when I'm wearing a sweatshirt. If I don't, yeah. if I don't look like Ariana Grande in it, I don't want it. Yeah, I kind of get that. I feel like I always look like Ariana Grande. In things. Well, period. Period. Look at you. Well, yeah, she I mean, serves well. She serves. Served Bo. She did. She served Bo for a long time. And don't let anyone tell you. Literally, don't let anyone tell you if you're serving Bo that it's not. It's not okay to serve Bo. No, serve your bows. Serve as much Bo as you want, as you please. I was putting together good outfits, but like my general demeanor, physical appearance, energy, voice, and personality didn't let people. Could, they couldn't see past. It. Yeah. Like if this, if I had this outfit on and I was like cool. hot or cool, good point. <laughs> people would be like, he's really cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was me, and they couldn't see the bow I was yeah, serving. If you were, if you were, yeah, I, I kind of completely. If I was get skinny, what, I, I completely get what you're saying because if I was just anybody else in this outfit, you would be like, that, like he was cute, so cute. But I, you, you couldn't tell I was serving bow. No, you were serving like the worst thing that you could possibly do is serve Bo and have no one realize. There, I, there is like, and I know that we do have some medical professionals that like listen to the podcast and like definitely some like trained therapists and psychologists and like. And sometimes they say we're doing a good job. I completely agree because again we're very open about what we're we're experiencing. Right. But I think that looking back on these childhood videos, I'm like, yes, we were children, but we were definitely, we were definitely. Um, there was something there. No. This next one is so rough. Like, I don't want to watch way. it. Rough and I'll give way. context to everyone involved. This has to be one of your siblings' graduation parties. Okay. Me and Andrew are deep in the throes of one of our very successful franchises, Tom and Jeff. You know it. We all know it. Yep. 20 a days, Monday Night Lights. This is, we're celebrating Best Friends Day. Yep, as we always did. And something amazing is we we actually give Tube Girl in confidence in this one because we do this in front of every guest at the event. I actually do remember this. It's so embarrassing. I do remember, like, we weren't one for confidence at that time, but I think together people saw us and they were like, oh, that's so, like, oh, my God, they're just having fun. Oh, my God, they're kind of serving Bo. <laughs> and we went for it. I almost don't even want to watch no, it. I, I need to see it. I need to see it. I just can't imagine being another guest at the party, being a, either a child our age and being near us. No, we were still kids. Like, kids are having fun. Yeah, but uh, you'll see. Are we going to, like, kid? Have fun, best friend. Is this uh, no. We'll keep you updated later. It's me too. Like, it's actually like Best Friends Day. I'm oh. sorry, like watching this is like being on the Tower of Terror. Like I'm so afraid every time it cuts. I'm so this is like the scariest movie I've ever watched. It's because it's like you never know who we're gonna see in the video. It's like I already seen like one of my cousins. And I'm like, <laughs> I can't believe that again we were doing this in front, in front of, of people. Them. But you know what? It really it's just so on brand for us. We're also like kinda we're that shirt will go down in history. That shirt. Sure. I pushed the limits on that that baby blue that, Abercrombie. That... <laughs> wait, wait. Joe, what? Joe, this was in public? I'm beating the shit out of you. Wait. Oh my god. I'm god. sorry. Was that a real bat? <laughs> I'm gonna start crying. Wait. Holy shit, the the ch- Wait, my face. I'm actually, I do have rage. No. Can you imagine being anyone at this party? No, I have to. In the out. end, we're friends again. <laughs> friends till the <laughs> end. Friends. <laughs> I don't know why I give Northwest. I don't know why every time I watch myself at that age, I remind myself of Northwest. Northwest. I, I, that's a great way to put it. I really <laughs> don't, don't think that Northwest would. I don't want to insult and, Northwest. Yeah, no. Because I think that she has more of a vision and creative yeah. talent. And like, we but, know she's listening, but I think North, <laughs> like with what you need to realize is like, yeah, you definitely do have a, a creative vision. I think that we also did at the time we were working with what we got. Joe, 
That was tough. That was some of the most troubling content I've personally seen. And it really That's does put it into... I've avoided watching since we started this podcast. And I think what we... Meatball brought it up. Yes. Actually, we were just on Sloppy Seconds and Meatball brought it up and we're saying... I can't believe that you guys put out all this content. Like, I feel like I would be sick I get putting out now. these videos. I do get it now. I do get it now. But, like, what? Listen, that... That was nothing. That's nothing that's compared nothing. to what, what we got. But <laughs> that that really puts into perspective, like, we were always... Really we always weird. wanted the camera on us. Oh, yeah. There's something about a family backyard barbecue to, mm. to hard pivot that is both... Stre- are you always str- I was stressed. stressed I was stressed arriving to someone else's backyard well I mean listen anytime it was a family backyard barbecue and I was hosting like my family was hosting, I can't imagine oh my god no because the thing is like it's I'm a hell. people pleaser and I know that I need to make my rounds I, I have cousins and then I have friends yep. I had you and I was like sick about not giving you enough time or giving my cousins enough time and I felt like I was always letting someone down and that's that's just the truth at any family party and I'm being honest. No, that's fair. That's and that, fair. Is that not nuts? But there is something beautiful about a family barbecue. I think that, like, I loved my backyard and I, love ho- I loved when my parents hosted parties in the backyard because it was fun. It was nice to roam. I loved bringing in Broadway gourmet. I loved having a little burger. I was going to say a little potato salad. A little potato you salad. I love a potato salad. I love a salad in general. Yeah. Well, minus the greens. I love a salad. Yeah. A dressed a salad. A mayonnaise salad. A mayo salad. <laughs> A pasta, a pasta salad. Look at us. We're mayo salad. Yeah, we're. That's a really good way to put it. We're if not fruit good. Salads. Children needs to be rebranded. We just go right into mayo salad. Welcome to mayo salad, the podcast. I think that's amazing. It actually has a ring to it. This is mayo salad. Welcome to mayo salad. Welcome to the stage. Mayo, mayo salad. salad. Italian sub, sub and mayo, mayo salad. salad. I would. You're Italian, so that obviously mayo salad. Yeah, yeah of course. Wait, I'm sorry. That's an amazing drag I think that's really good. Mayo salad. salad. It tells you everything you need to know about that queen. You love a chicken salad. (laughs) And don't get him started. On what kind? The Waldorf. The Waldorf chicken salad. Because you know I like sweet, so I like apple. I like a little crazy. I like a little, I like my meat. I like, I like a thick, chunky white chicken. Like, I want, I want that on my... Uh, yeah. Oh my god. All right. I'm getting horny thinking about a Waldorf. Hi, boys and girls. Jesus. This is the Do What You Want to Do in Your Room show with your host Joe and Andrew and someone else, a special guest who we'll talk to later. Now, we'll leave our first thing to do in our crazy fun wacky room. I'm sick. Andrew, do you have any ideas? Show from the live show. Well. I don't know, Joe. There's, look, magnetic rocks. Oh, these things look fun. You ever use them? <laughs> fun. Now, Andrew, you hold one. Do you remember that shit? You know what I've always hated? What? Besides magnetic rocks, the scoop your own rocks and crystals. A scoop your own? <laughs> you know... In, like, a gift shop, they have it at the ranch. I know exactly what you mean. And you're like, this is actually it's just... It's like you get a velvet bag, and you fill that velvet bag up with, like, rocks. rocks. And it's like, like men call rocks, rocks almost. And I'm like, Dad, I, I need, need this. These. And then you just go home, and then you remember that those that's just rocks. It's just rocks. You just like, don't do anything with no, them. No, they just sit there. But in the moment, it's so tantalizing. I will say, though, I did love the magnetic rocks. I always thought it was so cool. How they magnetize. That and, like... Like, yeah, I guess those You loved were... those. Oh, yeah, of course I love anything that I can press my hands into and, like, see the imprint or anything. But um, the magnetic rocks, for sure, like, I think I would wear them in a little bracelet. What? You know what I mean? You were just the faggiest kid. You want to talk faggy? Prior to this, just a brief, brief pause. Today, we started out at Costco. No, I can't. It started out with a large Dunkin' iced coffee with two pump, four pumps of pumpkin, actually, followed by a breakfast wrap from Dunkin', followed by samples of cheese, pulled pork, scalloped potatoes, and that That's made it. it from Costco, followed by the chicken... Chicken bake. The chicken bake the chicken from bake. Costco with... Um, a diet doc- a diet Pepsi and um, a, a churro. churro. But we, we didn't finish all of it. 
I ultimately finished the entire chicken bake. Okay. Then we get back. What was next? What was next? Uh, what was next was... The apples, the candy apples. The candy apples, the freeze-dried, dehydrated candy apples. Lollipops. Lollipops. Then... And then we went to go get pumpkin spice frosties and french fries. <laughs> and then we did a Hot Ones episode for Patreon where we had 12 chicken nuggets in increasing levels of heat and yep. hot sauce. And then we went to Taco Bell and got the <laughs> strawberry cinnamon twists and a strawberry um, and cream... Um, freezer and, and next we're gonna have a three bean chili white chicken chili well everything here today was for content sake and like i'm i'm eating for you this was an amazing day of content it was incredible we've got like six episodes six episodes i mean six yeah six episodes Total, yeah that's crazy crazy we've never done this much never and we've never been in this high of spirits while yeah, doing it. Yeah, normally we do like one episode or two episodes in a row and it's like I really was so scary bad. but this so proved bad. we could rally if we yeah had we to. can rally and we didn't come prepared Not for n- any of in it. In the slightest. Even this. I did this at 9.42 a.m. I was addicted to going on eBay and looking at custom Littlest Pet Shops on eBay. And then, then I would send the links to my dad's work email. And I would say, please, can you get me this custom Littlest Pet Shop? I am 12 years old. <laughs> they would be like, uh... A hamster littlest pet shop that someone modified to look like a bat. And I was like, I need this. And it's $75. Suffice to say, I never once received a single one. But I craved a custom littlest pet shop more than anything in I my mean, entire I life. I can't even believe you were sending your father while he was working, working. the day away. He would a get link. emails. He would get emails and he would check his email and be like, I hope my 12-year-old son is just sending me a custom Littlest Pet another, Shop. Another $50 piece of plastic. I mean, you really you really knew how to suck them dry of money. Listen, they wouldn't do it. That's the that's where the line was. I'm going. happy they drew the line there. I'm happy. But I don't think you get it. Like, had I received that bat, would you I have would, been different? I mean, I'm still talking about it just today. No, You're I would right. have ended up probably worse, arguably. You're right. I would have I would still have the bat. Oh yeah, absolutely. The bat would be in my bedroom to this day. Like that was something <laughs> I would have valued. Oh I loved wait. those waves. It was the coolest thing ever. I always wanted to have a sleepover. Oh waves. Did you? I did. I always got the vibe whenever you slept over my house that I was holding you hostage. No, because I wanted to be in your bedroom. I didn't want to be in the, in the basement. Because you were afraid of the basement. Yeah. I always was like, but I, I knew always that felt the, actually I felt like, like the, I was being hostile and ho- holding you hostage like by having a sleepover with the you. The basement, I mean, the bedroom was like usually off limits. Like, I think it was you crazy were that we were in the there. room. Yeah, you were rarely up But up like when we did have a sleepover in the bedroom, it was peak. Did we? It was peak. We yeah, we did. There? We did. I remember. I remember this, you were like watching TV or it was like maybe like That's So Raven was on and like I was on the floor. Yeah, that makes sense. And... I just ended up just going to sleep and you probably had the rest of the night to yourself. <laughs> but I, yeah, I remember waking up in your room and I remember the waves being up. <laughs> Cheryl! <laughs> oh, your little lips. <laughs> oh, you're, oh. I'm cracking oh. up. You're jabolling. Why are you so crazy? Wait, I've never no. seen you this happy on camera. No. You're getting further and further away. <laughs> I'm in disbelief. I do think like in the studio audience is gonna get one of these adorable bunny faces. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, you really you really would do anything. Cheryl. Anything yeah. for the joke. You're pink. And for the uncut raw footage from this episode, the archival footage, that'll be on Patreon. Good, Good children, children to, to the, the cafeteria. cafeteria. You want this, the freeze? 
No. No, we don't want it. No, I'm saving one. room for. I got. I made a chili. Oh, you don't want to try like it? Two. Okay. A strawberry cream delight. We'll get one. We'll get the one. The vanilla we'll cream is like by the window. Okay, I'm gonna get the one. We're gonna get All one. you can see is the container. Rolled chicken tacos? You haven't had them yet? No. Okay. Andrew, you're having a chili. No, the rolled chicken tacos are really small. They're just like taquitos. I'm not gonna basically. I'm not gonna get them because because Joe you made don't like the Joe didn't make a chili. Taquitos, that's what they taste like. Joe did make a chili. I'm excited for the chili, Joe. You want one of the strawberry toys? So would you want to get two? Two? Yeah, I'm gonna get one drink. Um, um, can I get a uh, two chicken quesadillas? Yeah, two of them. Soft taco, a side of nacho cheese. Is that for you? Two orders of the strawberry twists, and then one of the uh, strawberry cream delights. I'll tell you one thing, I'm getting deluxe cravings box next time with the rolled chicken tacos. I got it. Was it amazing or what? Um, I'm broken down and tired. I'm living life on a merry-go-round. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, you guys, we are in the Taco Bell parking lot. Oh my gosh, I can't believe, I mean, like, it's just been, it's been a brutal day. And Amanda, do you want to poke out for a second? <gasps> Amanda's also Amanda's here. here. We, we heard through the grapevine, through Amanda, that there are strawberry cinnamon twists, as well as a strawberry and cream freeze. The cinnamon twists look disappointing. They look out disappoint of the gate. Out of the gate look really, really sad. sad. Um, so I think that we just go, go at around. them. Okay. It's gonna be a big crunch, I'll say that. But at least it's not on the microphone. Cheers. <laughs> oh, they're are they no. no. Very good. They're kind of good. Very good. I feel like. I mean, like, you're definitely getting artificial strawberry, but you know, what What can you do? What can you do? I'm gonna try the strawberry and cream. I feel like that's gonna be delicious. It looks Joe, insane. Shut up and, and <laughs> suck it down. Joe, that's really good. That's really good. What does it taste like? What does that taste? That's really good. Joe, that's really good. It's not as good anymore. You had to get it from the bottom, that's yeah, why. That's why. Overall, I mean, I think it's fun that they're going with with strawberries. That's cute. What's the vibe? Why? Yeah, is there a reason, Amanda? Not that I'm aware of. It's weird that they're bringing strawberry in during the fall season. Right? It's kind of nice. like, should have been summer. Yeah. But I can't complain. Me either. This Me either. is delicious. Okay. I kind of love this. I would get this again. Mm -hmm. I would run. I wouldn't run. I would take a leisurely walk to yeah. Taco Bell to try this. It's not, you don't have to rush. Yeah. Although I'm sure it's limited edition, Amanda. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can still get the regular cinnamon twist, so don't scream. Listen, not the worst thing I've ever had. Not the worst thing. I'm being limited to how much I can eat because Joe made a three bean chili. Bye. Bye. I have a white bean chili sitting downstairs waiting to be eaten, waiting to be shredded. Yeah. And I have places to be and people to see. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I yeah. think we have to wrap this up. I think we have to wrap I'm it up. St why am I starving? It's weird because it's like, <laughs> but I mean, like, we've talked for about 15 hours today. So I think that, like, that justifies a white bean chili. I had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun with this episode as well. I had a lot of fun today, period. I had a great time with you today. I had a great time with you today, too. It's Are you lying? No, I, I'm just being completely serious. It was really fun. It was a lot of fun. It was kind of crazy that it was this fun. It's normally not this fun. No, it's normally like we like we'll have like an hour and a half of talking and like we can't talk for the rest of the day. Bye. Yeah, and now I'm like, let's hang out. Yeah, let's hang. I'm like, I'm let's trying. I'm trying chili. to hang. I'm trying to chilly and hang. <laughs> um, thank you so much for tuning in to another episode. Don't forget to do your homework. homework. Like, comment, subscribe, rate, review, write a little something sweet. Spread the good word to your friends. And you know where to find us across all social media platforms at Good Children Pod. I'm on Instagram at Andrew Muscarella, on TikTok at Andrew underscore Muskie. I'm on Instagram at Joe Hedges and on TikTok at Be Quiet Joe. We'll see you next time. What's the song? Over your shoulder, you I, told you, you I, know I, I, that you're always be picking you up when you die. So you just, just turn around. around. Ooh. 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 Ooh.
Is that it? Yeah. yeah. God, we are so annoying. Can you imagine like... No, I can't. Can you imagine? I literally cannot fathom. I would hate... Hate us. Hate our guts. I beat us up. We served Bo. We did. 